Hi, I recently published a one-shot video where I showed you a new model from Rattel, the RT920. I bought the radio for about 50 euro from AliExpress and you can find the link as always in the video description. In today's video we will take a closer look at how this radio performs in tests and measurements. According to the manufacturer, the radio only transmits in the 136 to 174 MHz and 400 to 480 MHz bands. Since it has a built-in HF SSB receiver, I would put it at the level of the RT860 or the Quancheng UVK5 after its modification. The RT920 has also a higher output power compared to the RT860 and UVK5, namely 10 watts, as the manufacturer claims. I must note that many of these features that the manufacturer describes on its product page are now a common part of also other VHF UHF radios made in China. Perhaps the most interesting thing is that the radio also has a full band HF SSB receiver with a range from 150 kHz to 30 MHz and a spectroscope. Unfortunately, I was unable to find the possibility of receiving SSB modulation on the 2 meter and 70 cm bands. It is probably not possible to receive SSB signals at frequencies about 30 MHz. So, let's see how the measurements on the new Rattel RT920 turn out. Let's begin with the receiver in this radio. As the manufacturer declares that the receiver on the CB band it has very good sensitivity. So just input the frequency 27205, which is center of the CB band channel 20. In the standard VFO mode, we have only the AM and FM modulation. For SSB, you need to enter into the radio mode. For frequencies below 30 MHz is used a secondary antenna socket which is hidden under the knob-like cover. You need to unscrew it and see the socket. And in case you need a BNC connector, there is an adapter for a BNC to SMA connector. I set the frequency on the signal generator a little bit higher because I want to hear a beat signal in the single sideband receiver. Both receivers were set into the radio mode and antennas will be connected to the main antenna sockets. Frequencies are not accurate. The beat signal is very loud and good readable on the Quan Cheng UVK5. But no signal from the main antenna socket on the Rattel 920. And therefore I need to increase the signal from the signal generator. And signal appears. And here I found that I use a wrong antenna socket. This is correct antenna connector. And finally I can find what the sensitivity is like on this Rattel 920. I'm lowering the signal output from the signal generator down to its minimum until I can hear the signal on the receiver.
By my ears, the signal I can recognize in receiver is on minus 102 dBm. On the UVK5, I was able to go even lower than the Rattel 920. And by my ears, on Quancheng UVK5, I can recognize the signal in the noise on minus 109.6 dBm. For spurious emission measurement, I'm going to use my 10 watt 40 dB attenuator. The RF output power is set to its maximum. I set the fundamental frequency to 144.0 and you can see there are some spikes over there but below minus 43 dB. And same test but on 70 cm band, 433.5 MHz and high power. And the result? It's much better, as I don't see any spikes. Seems that this radio works better on 70 cm band. Rattel RT920 should be 10 watt radio and now I'm going to check the power with this equipment. I'm going to use this 100 watt dummy load Shuricom Sugar Whiskey 102 and the Rattel 920. So let's start on VHF first. For this I set the frequency 145.500, very famous frequency, SWR 1.0 and 6.7 watts. I'm changing to the middle power. Now it's SWR 1.01 and 3.66 watts. And next the low power. 1.01 SWR and the power 1.45 watts. And next the UHF band. I set the frequency 433.5 MHz and the power is set to high. SWR 1.0 and the power is 8.2 watts. So I'm going to set to the middle power. Now is the SWR 1.0 and the power is 5.1 watt. Next is the low power. On the low power we can see SWR 1.01 and 1.7 or 1.8 watts. And finally, the stock antenna test. This is the Mini 1300 antenna analyzer, which is completely insulated off the tripod stand. The body of the tripod stand could act as a counterpoise, which I don't want, which could ruin my measurements. The elevation of this antenna is about in height of a regular person. And the antenna itself is placed in the middle of the room away from the walls, windows and other objects, which could ruin my measurement as well. And this is 2 meter band SWR plot. As you can see that the resonant frequency is pretty high, is off the band until I touch the body and I act as a counterpoise, then the frequency goes down a little bit, but still SWR is pretty high, not below 2. And slightly different situation we can see on 70 cm band, as you can see that the resonant frequency is on the lower edge of the band, but still pretty high, SWR is around 2. When I touch the body of the analyzer, SWR goes higher, which is not really good. In the multiband check we can see that this antenna is really dual band, much better SWR is on 2 meters, but the resonant frequency is off the band, which is not really helpful. And the 70 centimeter band, well, this is not really good. So what do you think of the new Rattel RT920? Is this radio worth buying, in your opinion? The decision is up to you. In any case, if you like this video, you can support me by giving me a like or even better if you subscribe to my channel and you will be notified 
of other similar videos. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.